And then on top of that, as you know, the world right now is spiraling out of control. You might not have seen what's happened because it was a few hours ago. A lot of people were here. There's so many people outside, which we appreciate. But a lot of people were here a short time ago. Iran launched 181 ballistic missiles at Israel. And uh, we, we just it's, – I've been talking about World War III for a long time. And I don't want to make predictions because the predictions always come true. We're not going to make – but they are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president who should be in charge, but nobody knows what's going on. She was at a fundraiser in San Francisco, a city that she totally destroyed, by the way. It's just, San Francisco was the best city in the country maybe 20 years ago, and today you can't even, you can't even go there. You can't even live there. And I speak against myself because I own property there. I shouldn't be saying that. I should say it's the greatest place in the world. Let's sell my property. But I say it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it stages a comeback, but it's, it's literally uh, not livable. And 20 years ago, it was the best city in the country, probably one of the best cities anywhere in the world. But they, uh, you know, she was caught yesterday on an airplane staging a fake photo op. Did you see that with the telephone? The only problem is she didn't have the phone plugged in. You know, she was talking. <laughs> she's talking on the phone. The phone is not plugged in. She's talking like she's working, you know, I'm working so hard. Oh, boy, what a group. What a group. No one is in charge of our country, and it's not even clear. Uh, really, I mean, who, who's in charge between the two of them? You have a president, I guess. You have a vice president, I guess. She should have never been chosen because she never got any votes. I'm not a big fan of his, but he got 14 million votes, and that was a coup. Would you say, Scott, that was a coup? If Scott Walker says it was a coup, Tommy, I say it was a coup, okay? But it was a coup. It was terrible, and uh, no, nobody's ever seen a, anything like it. And uh, we're, going, we're doing great in the polls. They just came out with new ones. Rasmussen, we're really good. I mean, it took a little honeymoon. You know, for four weeks, you did nothing but hear about you went from be she was, went from being the worst vice president in history. He's the worst president in history. It's the worst administration by far in the history of our country. Look at our border where people are pouring in and they're criminals and they're murderers and drug dealers. Look at what they've done. And then she goes up six days ago, five days ago, and tries to explain that, you know, we're going to do great things in the future. And I always say that everything they say, why didn't you do it four years ago? Why didn't you do it? They keep talking. She said, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to – but she's not going to do any of it. They're incompetent. We can't have another four years. We can't have – we can't have another four years of what we went through. It's embarrassing. The whole world is laughing at us. That's why Israel was under attack just a little while ago, because they don't respect our country anymore. The, the so-called enemy doesn't respect our country any longer. They don't. And, uh, oh, you'll get it back soon, I hope. I hope. Thank you. Whoever that is, who is that person? Who said that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very nice. Even though she disturbed my chain of thought. That kind of a disturbance, we don't mind, right? But when I was president, Iran was in total check. The Iranians were starved for cash. Uh, nobody was buying their oil. And uh, they were ready to make a deal. They wanted to make a deal. They wanted to do something.